Here, we see a working layout of a pipeline pilot professional client. Note that this can be customized to suit your needs. The menus at the top of the screen group functions into categories, much like many other Windows programs. Below that is the standard toolbar. This gives you quick access to widely used functions, such as zooming the window, running a protocol, searching within a protocol, or using the design mode or protocol comparison functions. Below the standard toolbar is the Explorer window. Next to that is the workspace. Depending on how your version of the client is laid out, you will see panes at the bottom that allow you to work with your protocols. The Jobs window keeps a log of all your jobs or run protocols and provides details on each job, even after it's completed. To retrieve the results of a job that ran previously, you can click the output links. The Auto Watch pane provides a quick way to view your cache data while the protocol runs. We'll cover the Help pane later in this demonstration. The Parameters, Implementation, and Web Service panes show different options depending on what is selected on your screen. Below these panes, you will see the name of the active server and version number. The Explorer window allows users to add components and protocols to the open protocol. There are four tabs in this window. The User tab, shown here, contains protocols for an individual user. These protocols can only be viewed by their owner. The Protocols tab is shared by all users and contains over 500 example protocols. These protocols can be used as is or within more complex protocols. Protocols are organized in groups based on their general function and utility. You can click on the plus sign next to a folder to expand the folder. To open a protocol, double-click the protocol name in the Explorer window. The Components tab contains over 1,200 components that are included with Pipeline Pilot. These components are organized by category, allowing you to quickly find relevant components. There are two different display modes for components and protocols in the Explorer window. By default, objects are displayed in a hierarchical view. If you click the icon next to the search bar, it will toggle the display to a flat view. Click on the icon again to return to the hierarchical view. Finally, the Network tab allows users to connect to other Pipeline Pilot databases. Clicking on a folder will show you the files and folders contained in that portion of the network. This allows the user to drag and drop files to copy them from one server to another. To close a folder, click on the minus sign next to the folder. You can use the search bar to search in the Explorer window. The Favorites bar allows you to keep frequently used components and protocols in a convenient location. To use a component in the Favorites bar, just click on it. To add a component to the Favorites bar, drag it to the bar. You can organize your favorite components into folders. To do so, right-click in the Favorites area and choose Create New Folder. The task bar contains a list of the protocols that you currently have open. To switch protocols, 
click on the protocol you would like to open in the active window. The status bar is located directly above the task bar. It tells the current status of the job, as well as the runtime taken during the most recent run of the program. Note that the contents of this bar will change depending on which protocol you currently are viewing. The Help Text window allows you to view the Help Text for the selected component. You can view information in the Help Text window about the role of the currently selected component, as well as the input it requires and output it produces. The Parameters window shows you the parameters for the selected component. To obtain help about an individual parameter, click the parameter. The help for that parameter will then appear in the Help Text window. 